What's happening? And welcome to What's Happening in New Market. I'm Tom Pearson. Let's see what's happening out and about in New Market. Newmarket is becoming known for its beautiful trails and beautiful nature spots. And why shouldn't it be? But Newmarket is also well known for its heritage spots as well. And with this in mind, all this week at the Municipal Building in Newmarket is a great opportunity to see some of the displays there that depict great heritage spots right here in and around Newmarket. What inspired you to do this piece? Uh, being a heritage contest, I thought I'd try to find a scene that a local scene that most of the citizens would recognize that uh, sort of uh, depicted both uh, the old bridge type of trail system that went ran ran up the Holland River horse and buggy trail. And uh, merging with the new, you know, there's the lamp post and the new bridge at uh, Ferry Lake. So it's a fall scene, uh, meaning that uh, change is in the air. So that's why I entitled it Changing Silently to reflect the city's slow growth but um, very wise uh, approach to. Oh, it's developing. These beautiful New Market heritage pieces are on display at the New Market Municipal Building right now. And they're for sale, so if you see something you like. Newmarket is lucky to have such well-kept and preserved nostalgic buildings still standing today. You still get that small town Main Street experience when you come downtown. Wow, anything's possible on Main Street. One new change I found while out and about in Newmarket was that CanadaTea.com is going to be putting a divider in the middle of the store and on one side they're going to have nostalgic candies. So a new candy store coming to Main Street in Newmarket. Right next door to CanadaTea.com t-shirts. Not only are there the local shops on Main Street in Newmarket, but the amazing farmers market has just moved down to the new Riverwalk Commons as well. Yeah, so that's so you can't eat it next year. You plant it this year. Like this purple base. It's gonna yeah. look like you can eat it next year, yeah. but don't. Right? It'll go into a nice, big, beautiful fern, flowers. It's really pretty, right? So it can be like an accent behind the flower bed or something. And then in two years, you just have all these things coming. Out. And then it'll be there forever, right? This is it'll be there a hundred years. Right? So the asparagus grows through the ground enough. Yeah, it's gonna make like a, a crown, like a clump, and yeah. it gets it gets wider over time, and it, every year it gets bigger. Oh, so like good. if they've been there for 30 years, you can have like asparagus shoots that come up this thick, like yeah. spears, and they still taste the same. They're still tender, right? It's, it's one of these amazing crops. Interland, who's who, looks at the Canadian goose. Canada geese mate for life and hatch three to eight goslings each year. Increasingly, goslings and their parents have less and less area to frolic in. The 
geese hang out in pairs, but come winter time, fly south. Whether you choose recreational activities or heritage sites, Newmarket certainly has plenty of both. So get out there and enjoy your summer. I'm Tom Bearson. What's happening? Just when you thought it was safe to go for a walk, there's a new killer lurking in the forest. Uh, uh. TPE Productions presents When Foliage Attacks. Uh, uh. When foliage attacks, you've read the books. Now, it's a mini-series. So what is happening is... The trees and the foliage itself are becoming living and breathing entities. <coughs> taking upon themselves to smother and destroy man. <coughs> From a single entity, it is believed to have spread to thousands and suddenly attacks by the millions are happening right across the country. Hey, I can't get my hand off of it. Uh, it's doing this too. I, I'm not going back and forth. It is. When foliage attacks, you've read the books. Now, it's a mini-series. When foliage attacks, coming to a screen near you. Next week on When Foliage Attacks. No, 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 no! It is really quite simple. If humankind does not change its ways, we will be destroyed by the trees. There is trouble in the forest, there is trouble with the trees, and the maples lost their union, and the elms they lost their leaves.